How's it? Hang on this. Welcome to Mongoose Max Y. The Chow. Hey, it's Sunday. It's uh, January 14th. And um, it's kind of a busy day if I let it be. <laughs> Here's, go right into the vlog. Gotta go quick. Well, first we're gonna, we're gonna do a uh, little old and new, little news, a little vlog. Oh, we got Shakespeare and Sunday tonight, uh, so or this afternoon into the night. Uh, we're gonna read a little bit out of King Henry the uh, Fourth, I think it is. <laughs> there's King Richard the Second, even though there's a second and a third for King Richard. For fourth, there's uh, the this is strange. Yeah, third, fourth. And there's like part one, two, and three, and and Henry the Fifth, and 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 goes to Henry the Eighth, and so there's like seven of those plays. <laughs> We're gonna do the fourth Henry, I think, I think it is. But for the Muse of Fire speech, uh, no, Into the Breach, I don't, I don't, whatever. I, it's a battle one. So we're gonna do a little old and new, and um, oh, and then there's there's the book sale. There's a Friends of Hawaii book sale. And uh, I just gotta go. And so I'm gonna go rush. And it's like, you know, they get the donated books, books, chances, and, and, and DVDs and stuff like that. But And, and I wind up buying like a, a, a ton. I mean, I mean, books weigh a lot. <laughs> but I can't resist. So, anyways, let's do old and new. A little random out of the Old Testament, a little random out of the New. Found my light. I think we're good. Oh! <laughs> Saint Benedict! Saint Benedict! The holy, may my light, may the guide of my light, the light of my... May the light of the Holy Cross guide me all the ways and, and never subjected to the, the, um, the dragon. Drink your own poison, you do you feel? Um, I don't know. Better. I don't know what's your father, but it's like this. Vena Sanctus Spiritus, Vena Sanctus Spiritus. Don't forget that part. Yeah. The old. All disease is a big, wide thing, bunch of stories. Okay. Got one selected. Got one left. Quick. <laughs> and it picks Ruth. Uh, Ruth, okay. And we'll just jump in the. We'll just go right from the start since it's the beginning. In the Melek family goes to Moab. In the days when the judges rule, ruled, there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem in Judah went to live in the country of Moab. He and his wife and two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech. And the name of the wife, Naomi. And the names of the two sons were Malin and Chilean and Ephraites and from Bethlehem and Judah. Okay. Got a good start there. <laughs> Gotta be rubric though. Yeah, red letters. Jesus Christ. And we got the first and second Corinthians. That's not gonna happen. Okay. All right, all right here. Matthew. Okay, there's tons of rubric in it. Oh, never fails. Ah, <sighs> okay, this one. This is Matthew um, uh, thirteen fifty one. If you follow that. Dark. Dark. No, I got a light. Treasures new and old. Have you understood all this? They answered yes, and he said to them. Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out his treasure, what is new and what is old. When Jesus has finished these parables, he left that place. Jesus. He's like, okay. And then they're like, oh, I mean, 
Uh, oh, wait, wait, we forgot something. Oh my gosh. This works in line of sight, so I had to get this. There we go. Wait, not that one. Let's get... Oh, come on. That, and... Um... Uh, Dorothy? Okay. There we go. Better. Okay, and I hope this is all recording and everything. So, yeah, there's the book sale. There's Shakespeare and Sunday. And uh, hopefully our friend Michael's going to go there. Uh, he said he would. And, um, and um, yeah, it's cold. Cold. I mean, it's cold as witch's tip. It's cold. And they're like say, oh, it's going to be down in the 50s. So, yeah, it's gotten cold and even colder. I don't know. It didn't register. It registered like 60s. Well, that's cold. <sighs> it's cold. So hopefully it'll warm up. The sun's coming up. Ugh, that's about it for that. Now, in the big national news, of course, everyone's honing in on the Iowa convention. For some reason, whoever gets picked in the Democratic caucus of Iowa is like the predicted villain. So they're very cautious and conservative, so whoever they pick. And I guess maybe because states um, outline their own voting procedure for each individual state. I think that something's different with the Iowa state voting thing. So when they're voting in their caucus, it's like they're they're kind of voting in the primary election or something. It's like the, the first, they, it actually counts. Or I don't know what, there's something about it actually counting when they poll, calling a poll. Uh, see, calling, a, voting, calling it polling, and then there's polls, and then calling voting polling confuses me. And Iowa and cornstalk mazes confuse me too. So, but they're all jumping all on that. And Trump's, of course, steeped in the courts. And uh, the, they're trying to figure out yes. between DeSantis and Nikki Haley. <laughs> so, and the, the Ed's. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just going to sit back and whatever. I don't want to lose too many subscribers talking about that. Let's see what's in Hawaii news. Quick. Uh-oh. Come on. Change. 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 There it is. Wow. There's something about the cold weather that's doing this. Okay, oh, addressing Hawaii's needs. Okay, they're they're voting over here too, of course. <laughs> last of fiftieth state, last to vote. Uh, they want to help the Maui fire survivors, housing, ethics, and this is a, the session about to start in this one. And the Eddie Aikau didn't happen yet, but the last Eddie Aikau winner surfer is Luke Shepardson, and he's into lifeguard safety now. And he looks like he gained a few pounds. <laughs> Married and eating every day and no more big waves. <laughs> gained a few pounds there in the face. The North Shore sees millions of tourists every year and many are drawn by big waves that can appear between November and February. People at Halava Ali'i Beach on Wednesday are met with signs warning of them not to swim amid dangerous rip currents. That's okay. Everyone ignores the jellyfish signs anyways. <laughs> that too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we have various people in our um, 32nd state legislature. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Some of them are, ah, and some of them are, you know, <laughs> there. That sums it up. Some are, ah, oh, look, it's looking, yeah, hey, I win. I won the big wave. Eddie hey, Aikau. There's other big wave surfing, but Eddie Aikau um, mandates that each the waves are 40 foot all day long, <laughs> so it's like, and it's big prestige uh, for the surfing, you know, uh, super cold. Yeah, I thought it was cold, but they got snow banks, <laughs> steep brewing. That's where they got the caucus and the brewing company. They're brewing up their own 
you know, micro brew or something. Mm, female carpenters get to have a mentoring. Oh, this one. The Board of Water Supply rejects $75 million to op reopen the Halava Shaft. Halava is the a valley in which the spill from Red Hill happened, and the shaft was closed, and I guess they're offering $75 million. Hey, $75 million, open them back up. No, reach that up. Because if they open it up, it sucks the poison toxin water. Okay, stretch drive. We have the Sony Open still happening. And, and then there's not much else going on in sports. <laughs> that happened, I don't know. Well, there, there should be football, I guess, if they're not snowed away. Okay, a little bit of, um, back in the day, maybe. Oh, I remember back in 1961. <laughs> not to date me, but a couple of days I'll be... Yeah, I remember back in 1961. I was at a diaper. Okay, man... Oh, just you want to relax, just go out there and buy yourself a new suit. Here, look. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Get it, get this one. Manager and assistant man show off one of the suits on display in the Robert Hall town in Wyali. Uh, uh, suits galore. Okay, yeah. 1961. The year of suits. Following in Darwin's footsteps, as in Charles Darwin. Uh, no thanks. I've been to some Australia places where Darwin stopped over, but uh, one of them was actually called Darwin. It was down in the north. North of... Okay, come on. No inside. High hopes for 2024. Engaging on Kapu uh, Kapuna. Kupuna. Kupuna. <laughs> Everyone on the island's old here. It's like where old people go. Hawaii. <laughs> no. Our, our population is uh, on the older side. Kupuna. Oh, here. Political cartoon. Where's Hanta? Where's Hanta? Oversight committee. Oh, here's Hanta. And I see he's not going to go. Oh, I don't, we don't see him. We don't see him. We just want to make up stuff. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Mm. And let's go. Here, here's one. Ways to get kids to talk about gun. No, no gun. Ways to get kids to talk about their day. Thanks to Teresa Wee for urging adults to initiate daily conversation with their children. Even 10 minutes of daily focus with kids pay off, cite article January 11th. I would like to offer wording that might yield more response than I ever got. I ever got when I asked my kids, how was your day? Fine. Oh, oh, really? How about what was something funny or good or puzzling that happened scroll 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 today <laughs> Wait, i can't get over there today what's one thing you learn today if adults begin this ritual with their own anecdotes the kids are sure to join in and chambers <laughs> everything good comes from kakaako okay <laughs> oh that's it okay Listen. Listen. Please go. Okay, I'll go then. Ghost box, come on. Ghost two, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Have a great Sunday. Aloha. Um, stay toasty warm. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Aloha. Bye now. Bye. Aloha to you. Oh, enjoy. What's going on there? Oh, oh, look. It's gonna get sunny again. Hopefully, yay, yay.